Good evening, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome to Jared Polly's Fragrance Reviews. Tonight, I'm going to be reviewing a stunning fragrance, an absolutely stunning fragrance from the house of Hermes. This is known as Terre de Hermes, which came out in 2006. This is the EDT Eau de Toilette Concentration. So I must say, this is one of the finest scent profiles I have ever smelled. I loved it back in 2006, and I love it just as much today. There was also a Parfum version, which came out in 2009. One problem has occurred with this fragrance, is especially in maybe the last seven, eight years, the formulation has been weakened. It does not last that long on my skin. It lacks the depth and potency it once had. But I want to tell you a little bit about this one in the sense this actual bottle is at about 2013, 14. That's when I noticed the scent starting to become uh, less potent. So I would spray it at the department stores and I wasn't impressed with the, uh, the power it had. But recently I went in and I sprayed it again. And I noticed that as the hours passed by, it still remained on my skin. So I wanted to look at the batch number on the tester and then on the bottle I was buying, but they did not match. There was no, um, the lot number is not the same as what's on the bottle from the tester. So you, I couldn't connect them. But I reasoned that the tester was from the same lot as the bottle I bought. And it is a very, very good a batch I have a very strong formulation so I'm very happy with that so this is the thing is that's why the batches there I find with this fragrance can be very very inconsistent so I'm going to take it out of the box I'm going to give it a spray on my wrist it's got a little bit of an unusual atomizer average sprayer but initially there's just this absolutely stunningly gorgeous mix of a kind of a tart orange which is slightly uh, peppery and in this grapefruit like almost like a sweeter grapefruit not a sour grapefruit so as it starts to dry down it retains its tart orange grapefruit vibe but I get a little bit of like a, a metallic a touch of a metallic vibe and some floral rose notes just in the in the background kind of swirling but it's so sophisticated, it's so smooth, it's so well blended. Later on, you still get the orange grapefruit, but it becomes more earthy, woody. And this, I think, comes from the vetiver and even a little bit smoky and resinous. So it develops very, very nicely. And it's not, I wouldn't say, uh, incredibly complex scent. But from start to end, it retains the basic DNA and it starts to develop different types of nuances as the hours pass. As advertised, the top notes are orange and grapefruit. The mid notes are pepper, geranium, and flint. The late, the later notes are vetiver, cedar, patchouli, and benzoin. Performance-wise, um, on this particular bottle, I got about three to four hours, which was not as good as the vintage. And I'm still trying to find a vintage bottle, but it's very, very hard to verify the batch number or to figure out exactly when the bottle was produced that, that I, I want to buy. So I'm kind of a little bit hesitant on it. Uh, but this particular batch, it projected very well off the skin. And with this scent, it's one of those that is not really a skin scent. And you may smell it and you don't get much, but people around you will smell the wafts and the uh, and the scent bubble. So that's why a lot of times when you wear these fragrances, ask people if they can smell it on you, someone you can trust, because there are those scents that sometimes they project. And I remember like the original Christian Dior Fahrenheit, people smell it a lot more than you do. So it's one of those types of fragrances. It's not really, this is not, I wouldn't say an intimate fragrance, but this is something you have to reapply during the day a couple of times to keep that, scent profile high final thoughts on this despite losing its potency over the years this is still a stunning smell one of the best ever in my opinion if you like kind of a a citrus orange vetiver you can't go wrong with this but i do know there is problems with the longevity and the projection as for hermes as a house uh, they have a lot of flankers coming out some are good some are not 
There's a few I really like and some that I don't. But in uh, the history of Hermes, they have some of the finest fragrances ever produced for men. And if you can find vintage bottles and you like a little bit heavier, uh, heavier, heavier selling, smelling scents, you may want to get your hand on some of the fragrances they had in the 70s and 80s. And as for the Terre de Hermes, this bottle from 2006, this fragrance has it all. It's sexy, it's elegant, it's classy, it's dressy, it's upscale, it's versatile and wearable. So if you like this video, hit the like button, the subscribe button, notification bell, any comments, questions, or experiences you have with this masterpiece by the House of Hermes, leave it down below and I'll always get back to you. Thanks for watching. Bye for now.